good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on where you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner i don't wanna fall in love I just wanna have some fun, yeah. I don't wanna fall in love. In this particular video, I want to please talk to our father, talking about Femi Falana, son, S E N, the senior advocate of Nigeria, sir. Sir, please, sir, please, I'm begging you, stop, 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 stop all these things you are doing, please. I'm begging you so that you will not say I did not beg you before I started. Please, if you want to go to court, please go to court and stop disturbing us with this. Your um, uh, we'll, we'll take we'll go to court, we'll do, go to court already. We are waiting. Are you trying to tell us that what we heard it does not warrant us to ask questions? Your name was mentioned, and yet nobody is talking about who mentioned your name. You guys are just trying to make us look like as if we are not we are not Nigerians. Nigerians have been proven to be one of the most intellectual people, intellectuals. Me, me, intellect. Those who are very, very educated and skillful in the world. I live in Western world. I know when any, anywhere I go to, I say I'm from Nigeria. I know the, the way people look at me. I'm telling you the truth because they know that we are very articulative. We are very, very intelligent and we say things the way they are. We even detest oppression. They will tell you. Can you be taking us as if we don't know what we are saying? Somebody mentioned your name. You have not been, you have not gone angry or been angry. Oh, English will not kill me. You are not angry with that person that mentioned your name. You are angry with the person who brought it to your notice. And for the past almost one month, it has been taken to court. Sir, go to court, please. We are tired of all this talk. Go to court. Ah, you can't just be coming here and be making us look as if we don't know what we are doing, or we are blinded, or we don't know, what we, or we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. How do I put it? We are fools. Son, our son, Femi Falana son, had an interview with Sahara. So this video, let it go to Sahara reporters for this video, where they asked him what he was going to do next concerning VDM, concerning the voice recording that uh, uh, surfaced, concerning how VDM accused him instead of calling him to ask him uh, as uncle that VDM claimed that he is to him, etc, etc. And they asked him what is in way forward. And you see here this man talking about the same issue going forth and back. Sir, so please go to court and give us peace. Ah, uh, go to court. Uh, I don't understand all this this kind of comment a, a, a son is making. So go to court. Eh? You go to court and let the court settle this whole issue. Come here, I'm tired of all this talking and talking and talking and talking. Guys, let me not get angry. Let me not push it. Let me just allow us to hear it by, by, by ourselves. Come here, I'm tired. Can you be doing like as if you're a kid, sir? So I, I apologize to you, but go to court, sir. I haven't said I want to thank you all for this watching my content. I want to appreciate you for your love and the care. For those of us who are not subscribed or follow us on our social media platform, please I beg you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share so that we can move this minute to the permanent site. I come away next time to see me on your screen, guys. I leave us with this video where uh, Femi Falana, San S A N, came to Sahara Reporters to give an interview and what he said concerning very dark man and his future uh, prospect concerning the case. And here I am begging him to go to court and give us peace. Please give me your opinion, reaction, comment in the comment section. Be talking about man. If you look at that thing very well, you know, I think the guy was alleged to be seen. Huh? Uh, first, I said that my father will help to write a letter of whatever. But you know, Nigeria being very corrupt, we may need 10 million. Naira. He didn't say he was going to give me 10 million. Naira. In the so called private discussion with somebody, it was somebody else who now decided to interpret the recording by now saying, Oh, I'm disappointed that Falano can take 10 million naira to uh, write a letter of pardon. Oh, I used to have respect for him. You know, so it was totally uncalled for. And if you now say I'm your uncle, as we are being told now, why did you not put a court through? This is the allegation flying around. Is it true that you are going to or that you had collected? Because they say I had collected 10 million naira to write 
a letter of pardon for a convict. Again, as I said, it is not part of our practice. Let me get your perspective on things. You've mentioned that you will pursue civil proceedings instead of criminal charges against a very dark man. Uh, why did you choose this route? And uh, I'm sure you have also explored the Cybercrime Law uh, Act in order to uh, file charges against him. Why have you decided to pursue frankly a speaking, civil proceedings? Frankly that? speaking, many people, including senior lawyers, suggested that I should file a criminal complaint. So, in February this year, the National Assembly amended the Cyber Crimes Act and removed all those provisions that relate to libel or defamation. So today, A person can only be prosecuted under that law if he uses a computer to send pornographic materials or statements that are capable to cause a breach of the peace in the society. So it has nothing to do with protecting any individual. That is the state of the law today. So I couldn't have filed a petition under the Cyber Crimes Act. Because right now, I'm defending two journalists who were charged, now, who are standing trial for cyber stalking or whatever. And we have faced serious objections. In one of them, the court had agreed, yes, the law has been amended, but this law was, this offense was committed when the law was still valid. We are proceeding to the Court of Appeal. But, I mean, on the most serious note, the campaign we are leading for decriminalization has hidden fruits in Liberia, in Sierra Leone, and Ghana. Those countries, the parliaments in those countries, have put together all anti democratic legislation, anti press laws, all anti press criminal laws and repeal them. So you now have to go to court to sue for libel or slander. Now, Lagos and Edo State have also repealed criminal libel. So, from the statute book. Only those two states in Nigeria. So we're trying to get these laws and we're trying to appeal to other state governments to wipe out criminal libel from their criminal courts. So this is the state of the, for that reason, it's not that there are no other criminal offenses. For instance, injurious falsehood, false information, you know. If you give false information to some, about somebody to the outside world or to the members of the public.